What's going on guys? This is JT here and we'll be here on the Android server back on my man Hammy's God account. We are about to smack around that arch demon one time as soon as we get into the fight and make a successful attempt. I am then going to go ahead and show you guys the full setup. Not going to fully explain it but just show off what we got. So let's go ahead and get right into the arch demon. Today's arch demon is summons monsters and mass buff removal. Now, if you guys don't know what this Arch Demon does, I'll quickly read it to you. We got deals damage to one nearby enemy hero and summons one creature. When Arch Demon has less than 60% of his HP, he summons one more creature. The cooldown is 10 seconds. Summon creature skill raises Arch Demon's attack, which could be scary because he can one-shot somebody. When summon creature is in play, it removes all enemy hero's buffs, which sucks, buffs once every 5 seconds, and reduces their attack and attack speed for five seconds for every five seconds which makes me believe this is why walla walla is used especially on this arch demon because then that walla whenever he procs can then remove those buffs hopefully we also got arch demon and its summon creatures cannot receive more than 500,000 damage per hit and are immune to silent stun freeze paralyze inhibit and energy reduction arch demon ignores damage limits of targets so the total score he has, wait, what is that? That is 1,759,000,000. We're going to be trying to beat that score. That is my goal. We did change up a couple of things from the last fight. So what we got going down is still the same guys that I explained in the last video. We got Dove Keeper, Pumpkin Duke, Gunslinger. We got Trixie Treat, Walla, and also the man himself, Crystal Wraith. So the drop order is going to be this. It's going to be right on top of the Demon. Start out with that Pumpkin Duke. That way the Pumpkin Duke takes in damage and is able to proc a little bit quicker. Following up by Dove Keeper taking in the damage because Dove Keeper obviously gets the damage reduction. So hopefully nothing dies. We're then going to immediately use the Guardian Angel spell to make heroes immune right away. So let's go ahead and get into the Arch Demon fight. All right, so we're going to start off with Pumpkin Duke, immediately fire everything else, and then go ahead and use the Archangel like I was saying. So the drop is done. We use the Archangel. See what we got going down here, boys. Hopefully nothing dies. I'm pretty sure I dropped the best you could possibly drop. Not 100% sure. Honestly, this is the first time I fought Archdemon in a very, very, very long time. I do remember back in the day, like last year, when I used to fight Archdemon pretty consistently, that uh, sometimes around like the one minute mark, you'd have like a random hero die. Not exactly sure what that was from back in the day, but it was kind of annoying. Hopefully we don't see any of that action. Now, one thing I am seeing quite a bit of, ooh, that was a long little stun right there, is a non-stop 500,000 damage over and over and over again. It's pretty much the only damage meter that's going up, which is very important as well. Now, remember... Each one of these heroes has a mage in the background as well that's constantly dishing out even more damage. Now, that's probably what those red numbers are. Let's go ahead and scroll in and see what we got here. Yeah, we can't. I can't really see, honestly, any number besides 500,000. So it looks like, may, I'm not 100% sure, but it looks like maybe even my pets are hitting for 500,000. Oh, no, I see some numbers lower than five. Oh, our, when he got, we must got him below 60% life or something because... Oh, man, I can't really tell what's going down. I think he might have even just revived. So I think we might have killed him, and then it revived. I did see our damage get reduced by quite a bit there just a second ago, um, and that must be because he got dropped below 60% life and then obviously uh, reduced all our damage, and we were doing mad less damage. But when that Walla procs, hopefully that takes away the buff. Now, honestly, I'm not even sure if Walla Walla can take away Arch Demon buffs, but I was kind of confused on why people use Walla Walla instead of Druid, and that would make sense to me that uh, Walla can obviously remove those buffs, which would be obviously insanely important. So, yeah, we just killed Archdemon again. So it looks like he is reviving, and we're about to poop on him one more time. That's nice, man. Not bad, boys. Smacking around the Archdemon. I like beating the Archdemon with this team, baby. Not bad, boys. Not bad. What do y'all think the total damage is going to be? I'm thinking, I mean, what was his total damage? 1.7 billion. I'm hoping we at least get to 1.8 billion. Because I believe what was changed um, from the last video I made, he did some updates on a couple different things. Actually, I'm not even exactly sure. Maybe I'll be able to spot it whenever we uh, take a brief rundown of what all we got going down. Should I run Archdemon twice or should we just run it once? I guess we'll run it, I guess we can run it back to back, run it twice. That way... Uh, we can just see if there's a difference in damage. Who knows? I mean, I heard that there is 
a good bit of RNG actually with Archdemon. I know that's why my man, the other YouTuber, Judish. Judicious Fire uh, created a video talking about he was so mad that people now were able to obtain Archdemon cards because there's really like no skill involved in it anymore because people can just sit there and do it over and over again until they get the lucky RNG and then have the best score. So we got 1.5? That's actually way lower. Is it not? That's like way lower. That's not even close to the best damage. How are we going to get way lower? What did we do wrong with the drop? All right, we got to run this back, boys. Not happy to get lower than his previous score when he made a couple different changes. All right, so let's go ahead and run this back one more top. And we're going to do the same exact drop, obviously. Go ahead and drop Pumpkin Duke right on front of him, followed by the rest of the heroes, which we got. We used the Invincible, so we should be good. So we got 1.5. That's quite, that's like 200 million lower damage than what his record was. That seems kind of crazy. That's not a good sign, boys. It's never good to get lower than what your previous damage was. I'm curious to see, with the same exact drop, if the damage is either way higher or way lower, what the damage is from this, this next run. Because that's going to be awfully interesting. I believe he is currently ranked like in 40th place or 30-something place whenever I checked. Wow, that was a pretty quick kill right there. 30-second kill on the first Archdemon kill. That's not bad. I'm wondering if the RNG comes into play when, let's say, like, let's say Archdemon puts up those buffs. And then the RNG is whenever our Walla Walla actually makes his proc to remove those buffs. Like, that could be a huge RNG factor, right? Because if it's synchronized perfectly, then obviously you'll get a mass, a really good score because the Archdemon buffs would be removed and you'd be dishing out that additional damage because it said that he lowered damage by, like, some absurd amount. And you never want to see the damage lowered by an absurd amount, boys. So we are a minute in. It looks like it's take. Okay, so we got our second kill at 1 minute and 48 seconds right there. Hmm, I just now noticed in the top right corner it says how many times we defeated the boss. I didn't even realize it said that up there. So we defeated him twice. The first time was in 30 seconds. The second time almost took a minute. So we defeated him. It's really going to come down to how many times we defeat him or how fast we defeat him after the fourth uh, fourth time he goes down. Hopefully we defeat him a little bit quicker on the second time, like before like the minute point. I wish I could see the boss's life, man. They need to put, like, the Archdemon's life, like, a little bit further to the right. That way it's not, like, spammed over the meters. All right, so we beat him now with a minute, uh, 14 seconds left. That's not too bad. Seems like the RNG was on our side a lot more the third death um, as far as the second death because it took a lot longer, I feel like. All right, so we need to kill him now, like, ASAP because we only got a minute left. Come on, baby. Do some serious damage. Kill that Archdemon. What up? Where you at, baby? Do some damage, boys. Need a lot more damage than this, baby. Come on now. Sit him down. Sit him down. Sit him down. Sit him down. We need at least 30 seconds on the board for this last Archdemon fight. Come on, baby. Oh, no. We got low damage right here. That's looking bad. We ain't even damaging him right now. Oh, man. That was scary times. All right. So we got 30 seconds left for the final, the final stride. I wonder how far down we can go. I don't think... Did we kill him five times last time or four times? I'm pretty sure we killed him four times last time. But then again, I'm not even 100% sure. I'm not sure, boys. Not exactly sure. I just know we need to see a lot of damage right here. The more damage, the better. Come on, baby. Another kill would be uh, pretty epic, to be honest with you guys. We don't need to see low damage, that's for sure. Keep the big boy damage coming. We only got five seconds left. Are we going to be able to get one more kill in? Does not look like it. Oh, baby. 1.9. Okay, so there's definitely... An RNG factor with the Archdemon because the first time we ran, we got 1.5. Second time, we got 1.9. Where is 1.9 going to put us on the board? Let's go ahead and check. All right, so as of right now, he is ranked 46th with 1.75. So 1.9 puts us, what is our total score? It is 1.936. So 1.936 puts us at 1.936 puts us right at 26th place, 27th place. Okay, 27th place. That's not too bad. So what is first? What? Wait, what is first place? Oh, okay. First place actually, oh man, the top 10 actually killed him five times. Not bad. Not bad at all. That's pretty sick. Look at that. Wow, not bad. We need to be able to kill this bad boy five times. Boys, we're slacking on the job. We need to change our setup a little bit. All right, so let's go ahead and give you guys a quick rundown on what all we got as far as a setup. We got Trixie Treat with the uh, level 10 Sunder along with the Croc. We also got the 10 craw uh, Blade Crawler. As far as the traits go, it is all attack all the way across the board with the 7 to 7 Mage. 
Um, as far as Pumpkin Duke goes, we got the Glacy Pet with level 10 regenerate, also the level 10 Sunder. And somebody made a comment in my last video. The reason why he runs it with regenerate is the main talent Sunder as the uh, Insignia is because there's actually more damage out of Sunder than regenerate. Also, we got... So, ooh, 7 to 7 hyper strength. That's interesting. Okay, so we got 7 to 7 hyper strength on the Pumpkin Duke along with all attack. We also got, who else we got in this uh, lineup? Oh man, it's going to be hard to find these other heroes, isn't it? Let me see here. We get, where are the other heroes at, boys? We need to find our Dove Keeper. There's our Dove Keeper right here. So with Dove Keeper, we got the Punching Box along with the Ten Sunder, also the Brawler's Insignia, and we got the 7 to 7 Pet. Now, Dove Keeper is running full attack as well. So let's see. We also got the other heroes. We got Gunslinger with the level 10 Sunder. We got the Chicken Boom Pet. We also got the 10 Brawler and we got the 7 to 7 Mage along with all attack on Gunslinger also for traits. And let's see, where's our Walla? Here is our Walla right here. We got the level 10 um, Sunder along with the 10 Brawler. We also got the 7 to 7 Mage. Now, if I'm not mistaken, he still has all dodge all the way across the board. So that's one thing that could be upgraded with this setup. And honestly, it's probably holding us back quite a bit because Walla might not be doing max damage from Walla's base attack, right? So who else do we have? We're missing one hero, uh, Crystal. Here he is right here. So we also got the level 10 Sunder on the Wraith along with the Brawler's Favor Insignia. And we also got the uh, 7 to 7 Mage and all the all attacks all the way across the board. So anyway, guys, hope y'all enjoyed the video. I am out of here for now. Peace out, fellas.